King of Podcasts here. If you are enjoying the videos that I keep doing for all of you, and those of you that enjoy the podcast that I put together, then I hope you will consider helping me out by going to my special Amazon page where you just go to Amazon and you go buy what you buy from Amazon, whether it's a Prime subscription, Audible, or whatever you buy. But what happens is a little commission goes back to me because you're buying through my special link, kingofamazon.com. That's kingofamazon.com. Or you can also always drop a little cash app or PayPal and also helps the same way too. I am getting so tired of everybody trying to act like, well, we're all in this together. Celebrities, commercials, all this is bullshit. Do you understand? It's so annoying. I am so tired of seeing everything that goes on, seeing every celebrity trying to act like, oh, look, I'm on FaceTime. It's like I'm talking to you. See, they're talking to me like I'm a real person. No, they're not. So I mentioned that on another video that I did about all the late night hosts acting like they are. And they're so horrible. All the at home, hashtag at home broadcasts, they're unbearable. The commercials are unbearable. And if you go online and go on social media, all of the celebrities are unbearable. It's ridiculous. The commercials are horrible. When you look at all this being done, it's just, it's too much to watch. It's too much to take in. We don't like our celebrities like this. Do you understand? We'd ra I would much rather to see all the people from Hollywood just go ahead and just do their own thing and whatever. There are some that are very good on social media, but then are trying to adapt on social media that don't do a good job of it. And they don't know what they're doing. All right. So many people are saying, you got to go out on social media. You got to go and do it. Agent says this. You know, your manager says this. Your, the movie studio says this. You need to go out and get yourself out and keep yourself relevant because it's supposed to help you out and give you like some social clout or some social currency with everybody once you put a new movie out. I understand that part, but there's got to be a reason why you're doing it. Now, when we see out people out there that are doing performances, you know, musicians and things like that, or I'm seeing like, you know, different celebrities doing some fun, cool stuff on TikTok, dancing, or some kind of entertainment. If they're doing that, at least I give credit. Like professional wrestlers, I watch some of the things they're doing and I'm entertained by it. I'm amused. And it's just a couple of seconds. They're not, you know, making me watch something that's like a real long thing or like some big live chat. When I see Cardi B going on Instagram, she's been doing that anyway. When uh, Alexandria, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez goes up on Instagram, that's she's been doing that. Some of the people, they just do it. It's just natural. It's because they've been doing it. And that's just the way, you know, it's a normal adoption. But it's for the people that are trying to adopt now that are so cringeworthy. And the commercials right now, I thought we wanted to be like watching TV to escape and to get ourselves distanced. There's a reason why Netflix has gotten 15 million extra subscribers this quarter between January and March 2020 alone. Do you understand? That right there is already happening. Then you have to consider that all the commercials we're getting, yes, we're going to see the ones that are all the food delivery places because everything is takeout and delivery, which is fine. I got no problem with that. But then you got to ask yourself, what about everything that's going on with all the commercials that have to show first responders? Listen, I understand that and I can appreciate that. But can we let me just ask you a quick question. How about we really celebrate and honor the first responders after this? When 9-11 was happening, honestly, were we praising that much right away all the firefighters and police officers? Somewhat. We would, we would give respect to. But this honoring right now, while we're still in the middle of this, is ridiculous. Can we wait till this is all said and done when we're back to normal and then just... Go all out and be charitable and be patronizing and be respectful and show the greatest honor. Thank you for your service, you know, hospital worker, nurse, uh, you know, whatever, police officer, all of them. Can we just all get together and just do that? Wouldn't that be nice for everybody? I think it would be better for everyone, but I don't know. This is what they're not going to do. Of course not. But here we go. Anyway, we'll take a story from insider.com. The 24 times celebrities have been completely unrelatable during quarantine. So, honestly, there have been only a couple of people that I've actually respected that have said anything sensible during quarantine. Ricky Gervais has been sensible. You know, he didn't like some of the stuff that's being put on out there, which is ridiculous, right? You've all seen the coronavirus pandemic is heightening class consciousness globally, leading hashtags like guillotine 2020 the trend. 
Now more than ever, the general public is acutely aware of the ways in which the needs of celebrities, influencers, and the wealthy have been prioritized during the pandemic. Celebrities have also been sheltered from the worst effects of the crisis by their wealth and access to resources. And a number of A-listers have been accused of tone deafness on social media during the ongoing crisis. This is all true. Less fortunate individuals across the globe are finding themselves in great financial straits as infections and unemployment continue to rise. So again, you're not helping. You're not putting any money towards all these people that are being affected that you're trying to reach out to. The ones that have spent all that money on watching your movies, watching your TV shows, following you online, maybe, you know, something where they've been putting back into your paycheck and you're not willing to give back. Of course not, you sanctimonious, fake, hypocritical fools. Honestly, most of you celebrities have contempt for peons that watch your movies and go watch your TV shows or follow you online, whatever it might be. It's just the truth. So here the insider says it and says it all exactly right. Celebrities are said to just be like us, but if you're feeling a little resentful, the rich and famous right now, you're not alone. Global health crises have a way of throwing social inequality into sharp relief. As much as we want to believe we're all in this together, the pandemic continues to bring daily reminders that celebrities and other wealthy elites are separated from ordinary Americans by an ever widening, e -e ever widening class divide. Some celebrities have made positive contributions, but empty words and gestures are commonplace as millions struggle to survive in small spaces, stay healthy, and pay their bills. And they go through some of the celebrity social faux pas we've witnessed during the pandemic, and here's where some of them are. I'm only going to point out a few of them. First, you have Gal Gadot and the 20 celebrities singing Imagine by John Lennon. Listen, Gal Gadot, I love you as Wonder Woman. I think you're awesome. I really do. This was not the highlight of everything. Sorry, this was not. Not a good idea. Then we have Sam Smith chronicling his quarantine meltdown. Now, some people say that Elon Musk calling the coronavirus panic dumb. I'm sorry. I'm not going to put that down. My thing is, is that the panic, remember, it's not that the coronavirus is dumb. It's the panic, the hype, the overblown doom and gloom. That is dumb. So I, listen, there's enough to complain and bitch about Elon Musk about. When he said he sent ventilators to San Francisco, when they weren't, they were actually CPAP and PPAP machines. So there weren't actually really ventilators. There were respirators. Difference. Drake doing the Tusi slide video and getting some money off of putting that out there, doing a video from his house and then showing his regulation size NBA private indoor basketball court. So yes, you're rich, Drake. Thank you. Justin Bieber and Kendall Jenner self-reflecting about privilege. You're on an Instagram together and Haley Baldwin's a part of it. And this is like, oh, look, look at us. We're so privileged. We're so grateful. Then it was Vanessa Hudgens saying that, oh, people are going to die. Oops. <laughs> she had to take that back pretty quickly. Music mogul David Geffen wishing us well from his $590 million super yacht. Well, at least that guy is being honest about it. Then Madonna taking, calling coronavirus the great equalizer while taking a bath. Madonna has lost it. I love her music for 30 years. She's done. She's burned out. I feel sorry for her daughter and whoever else uh, still follows her. Madonna is one of those artists that has been in the spotlight for too long. And you know what? I don't know if it was Kabbalah or what it was, but she's done. And then there's the people that are saying donate. Pharrell Williams, we've already talked about wearing a man dress on the cover of GQ. He asks followers to donate money to first responders. And then he writes out on Twitter, hospitals are running low on masks, gowns, and other critical items. We need to replenish their supplies. Okay, how about matching what you have with all that money, Farrell? Come on. And then, of course, he got called out on, on Twitter because somebody said, well, you're worth over $150 million. Donate your own money. And then he says, so sorry if I wasn't clear. I, of course, donated, but wanted to make sure my followers had a way to get involved they needed to. Uh-huh. Okay. And then again, I've already talked about Ellen DeGeneres, and basically she's just really embarrassing herself because of what she's done to really just screw over her staff during the quarantine by giving a pay cut and not even letting them be in, their, in her house to go produce her show. And Ellen DeGeneres comparing being in quarantine to being in jail. This is a woman that's worth $340, $330 million. Yeah, see, this right here is the sanctimonious, hypocritical bullshit of celebrity out here. And that is ridiculous. She has so much room in her living room that's bigger than any prison cell. And that's what she says. So in conclusion, I hope and... Really, I really hope that people will just look through clearly 
the cringe of all this crap right here that has been done by the celebrities that are doing this. And notice the celebrities that have not done this. The ones that have movies coming out and other things. Or the ones that have always been good at social media and the ones that are not. And how pathetic and how desperate they must be to do what they do. And how out of touch they are. Which is what it is. A lot of people on TV are so out of touch with everyday people. And it's just a sad thing to see.